Okay, this problem is going to require us to use product rule. We have two things multiplied together. We want to find the first and second derivative. We'll find the first derivative, then we'll take the derivative of that to get the second derivative. When I set up the product rule, I'm going to use 4x cubed as the first term and e to the negative x as the second term. So when we do that, it'll look like this. So we have the first term times the derivative of the second, so first is 4x cubed. Okay, e to negative x, that derivative we talked about in a previous video, we derived it, and so we can just use that direct here. That's going to be negative e to negative x, that's your derivative of e to negative x. We have plus, the second thing, e to negative x, derivative of the first will be, use a power rule on that, 3 comes down, 12x squared, and we get that. For simplifying, the only thing we can really do is put the negative on the outside here, and we'll write it uh, this way. And then over here we'll put 12x squared out front, and then e to the negative x. And then that's about it for simplifying. Now, later I'll, I'll do a little bit more with this. I'll do some factoring to get it into a form where we can put it into the online homework system. But I don't want to do that right now because when I do the second derivative, I'm just going to do it off of this, because if I factor it, it's going to be, make it more complicated. There actually be three things will be multiplying together, so we'll just work with this one now. Now notice, if we have to take the derivative of this one to get the second derivative, we have to actually do product rule twice. One for the first part, and one for the second part. So we're actually going to end up with four terms here when we're done. So let's do that. Jump into the second derivative. We're only going to work with this first piece for right now. Your first term is negative 4x cubed, your second term is e to the negative x. So the derivative, we have negative 4x to the third, we have the first times the derivative of the second. So again, the derivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. And we have plus the second thing, we're still working with the first term here, derivative. The second term is going to be e to the negative x times the derivative of the first, which is going to be negative 12x squared. Alright, so that takes care of the first term for derivative. Then we have to do product rule again for this one. The first term, 12x squared. Derivative of e to negative x is once again negative e to negative x. Plus the second thing, e to negative x. Derivative of the first, 2 comes down, it's going to be 24x to the first power, and then that's it. So now, at this point, we need to clean this up and do some simplifying. Okay, so this first term will get positive 4x to the third e to the negative x. And then, these are like terms actually. I have a negative 12x squared e to the negative x and a negative, another negative 12 e to the negative x, x squared. So I can write that as a minus 24x squared e to the negative x. That takes care of both of these. They're like terms. That's why I'm allowed to combine those together. The last one is a 24x and then e to the negative x. Since I have the second derivative right now, I'm going to go ahead and factor that out. Okay, so what can factor? All right, well, first of all, I have e to the negative x for sure factors because that appears in all three. Okay, what else? We have an x, x to the first power. And then there's also a 4 that's common in all those. So I'll factor out a 4x e to the negative x from that one. And that'll leave us with just uh, for this one x squared. Four out of this becomes a minus six, and then there was two x's. I took out one, so it'll be a, a single x. And then four out of this one will give you a plus uh, six. And then this is going to be it. This is as far as you can go because this term right here that that can't be factored. So that would be the answer that you could put in online when you enter your homework, this answer is a factored form. Let's go back to the first derivative. We want to write that one out also in a nice factored form. Okay, so let's go back to this one. This one again we can pull out e to the negative x from both of those. We can pull out a 4, but we can pull out an x squared on this one. You can pull out only the smallest power of x that you have available. In this case it's going to be that one. If we factor that out, then that's going to leave us with a negative x, and then left over here will be a plus 3, so you could leave it like that, or you can switch the order and make it 3 minus x if you wanted to, or factor out a negative and make it x minus 3, a couple different ways you could write your answer, um, but that would be the, the factored form. So 
Here's your first derivative and there's your second derivative.